Pearl Tutorial Part 25 Subroutines Now subroutines are a great way for us to organize and manage our code. It also helps us to um, quickly change code later without having to change it several times within the script. So I'd just like to show you a very basic little routine here and then we'll alter it to use a subroutine. So we've got a simple value equals 10. Now let's write an if statement. If something or rather then something or rather else if something or rather then something or rather else we'll do something else okay so what we want to do here is if value is less than 10 we're going to do something if the value is greater than 10 we'll do something else it's going to equal 10 and we'll do something here okay so if if it's less than 10 we'll print value less than 10 if the value is greater than 10, we'll print value is greater than 10. Else, we're going to print value is 10. Okay, it's all simple enough. Now, after we've printed out our value, once this little bit of code has decided out, decided which value we have, just because we can we'll make a sum equals that value multiplied by 10 value times 10 equals sum okay so we're just gonna get a value multiply it by 10 and then print out that we multiplied that value by 10 and it equals the sum nothing special now we're going to do this to in all all these cases no matter what the number is whether it's less than 10 greater than 10 or it is 10 let's run this okay well obviously the value is 10 and 10 times 10 equals 100. If we change this to the number 7, we would get value less than 10. 7 times 10 equals 70. And then perhaps if this was 13, we would get value greater than 10. 13 times 10 equals 130. Okay, so now I'd now like to show you how to use a subroutine to make this code a bit simpler and less crowded we're doing the same thing here over and over again printing something doing a sum and then printing the outcome of that so let me show you how to create a subroutine now to, to create a subroutine we simply type in sub and then we can name our subroutine whatever we like. So I'm going to create a subroutine called do it. And then we're going to put our subroutine in between curly brackets. What I want to do in the subroutine is we're going to print what I'm going to call the message. Now we're going to do our sum and our value next so we're going to do what we've been doing down in all these statements down here we're going to move that up into our subroutine okay and I've got print message so 
let us just continue. Okay, so let me type in again value equals 10. And our if statements again. Else if. Else something else. Okay, so this time we've got our subroutine called do it. And this is what our subroutine does. It's going to print it our message and it's going to do the sum multiply whatever our number is by 10 and then just print out that whatever the value is multiplied by 10 equals this number so now in each of these in this if statement we have of course value less than 10 value greater than 10 else the value will be 10. So here I'm going to put message equals value less than 10. And then in each of these I'm going to pop this down, this will be value greater than 10 and this will be value value is 10. Okay, so now instead of having all this code each time, we've created a subroutine that has that same code here. So to call our subroutine we simply type in do it with the colon here and that will call our subroutine so if the value is less than 10 the message is va value less than 10 so and then go to our subroutine so it comes up here it prints the message so it will print print value less than 10, it will then take the value times it by 10 equals that sum and print it out. So this will do exactly the same thing with the subroutine, this block of code here as this block of code does here where it just repeats itself over and over again. So let's run this code, let's run our subroutine. So of course value is 10, 10 times 10 equals 100, so that's our subroutine and then this is the second, this is the one down the page, the one we did first without the subroutine, value is 10, 10 times 10 equals 100. So it does exactly the same thing except we don't have to crowd our code. Now say if we wanted to change some of these variables like sum equals value times 10 so if we wanted to make the value times 20 this way we'd have to go and change it in three uh, sorry three places here now using a subroutine here we would just have to change it once there and once here so 10 times 20 equals 200. Simple as that. And then if, if it was actually a different value, it's back down to 10. Okay. Value greater than 10. So that's subroutines. Very, very useful. It helps to condense your code and saves you having to print and do the same routine over and over again. Save space in your code and makes your file size smaller. So that's subroutines.